Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Um, I have a dream to share with you here. And uh, today is the 13th of April. And this is a dream that I had back just yesterday morning, which was uh, Resurrection Sunday. Um, so I had this dream on the 12th of April, 2020. I woke up at 4.44 a.m. And this is how it went. I was in a vehicle and I was trying to get home. It was a regular route that I've taken a million times, you know, driving home. And as I went to get onto this highway, I saw vehicles parked on the highway and it kind of caught me off guard. So I continued to turn right, which was the way to go home. And I saw construction vehicles absolutely everywhere. And as I turned right to go into the normal way home, it was blocked. The road was tore up. The the everything that you could possibly imagine was wrecked in that road. So my normal way was destroyed. It was completely blocked. So I <clears throat> came to a stop and I went to turn around, go another way, which would have been the straight way, and there is a detour way to try to get to, to my home. But uh, this straight path. Uh, we passed through it, um, we continued on straight, and we had passed through a small town, and suddenly I hit white snow, it started to snow, and uh, I was following, <laughs> this is so bizarre, but the traffic came to almost a complete halt because we were following these little yellow ducks and uh, geese, they were on a very narrow small path. And uh, it just got to the point where the snow was too heavy and the path disappeared. And that was the end of the first dream. So uh, the second dream, I was in a building and I was going through, um, I was going through uh, a, a kind of a locker maze. I was just, have you ever been to like a major um you know, a convention center or maybe a football stadium or any place like that, that the public can use. Sometimes the, the amount of lockers are everywhere and they're, they're whiny. And I mean, most places have very good patterns, but in this case, I didn't know where I was and I was following somebody to get through this maze of locker rooms. And I was there, I needed to find my coat. That's what I was trying to find. So once there, I saw my friend, and uh, I had my youngest daughter with me, and we got into a truck, and we went towards a bridge, which ironically, in the first dream, that way that normally would have went to my house was actually going through a bridge, over a bridge too, but I never got to it. So in this one, we were going, you know, on the road, and, and we were, we, we arrived at this bridge, and it was broken. <clears throat> And we went under it to try to pass by on foot. We figured that if we couldn't get up on the top, maybe we could get far enough on the bottom that we could get around it. And uh, people were everywhere. My friend said he was in trouble. And this kind of caught me off guard. And I said, why? And he said that this uh, friend of his at work, at the, at the, this was his project. They were fixing this bridge. And he goes, I could get fired if I'm seen here. And I, I did not know why he was telling me that. I just ignored it. And I wanted to get past, I wanted to get past this blockage. Um, I found my daughter. She had wandered off a little bit and she had found a way to get past. So when I got to her, I realized I couldn't get through. And I went to get her and I heard a rumbling like a storm or something was coming. I thought because we were under a bridge, it was a, you know, a large amount of water or something. I didn't know what it was, but it, it, it got my attention enough that I got very nervous. So we found another way through a small opening and we got through and we heard other people around us were panicking and they were yelling and something, something was coming. We just didn't know what it was. And, and there was a, a very large feeling of people being terrified. Uh, the other people, not myself and my daughter, but we, anyway, so as we started to go up, uh, this other way, I saw on the grass embankment of the river, 
uh, going upwards up a hill, I saw a faded path going upwards. And then we decided to go that way. It seemed like the easiest way to get to safety. So as we were going out of nowhere, all, all of a sudden there was animals that appeared everywhere. And me and my daughter were encircled by lions. And one began to go for my daughter. So out of my fatherly instincts, I guess, I, I jumped it and I grabbed it and I wrestled with it. And this lion, it turned into a man with lion features. And I looked around me and my friend, my friend, uh, excuse me for a second. I realized that the, what I was reading doesn't have the full writing here. So I'm going to go to the, where was there? I looked around me and my friend was still there with me and I asked him, oh, wow, why did you stay with me? And he told me he was with me until the end. And that was the end of the dream. So, I was given understanding of this dream, but I was told not to give it to you guys. You have to see if you can figure this out. This is one of those fellowship ones. So, I look forward to seeing your comments, and have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.